I'm pulling my weight, and if I want this leg to come up, <clears throat> I'm pulling with my right arm this way. And then he gives me that leg. This way, here. This is a great move. If the, if the guy, on Eric on the, on the left there, is, if he's on his knees and he's dumb enough to come up on one knee, not dumb enough, but he's inexperienced enough or whatever, and he comes up on one knee, Donnie's saying a silent thank you and is going to launch him into orbit, okay? He comes up. <laughs> and from here, we're already here. We're already here. Okay. And the reason we're showing that as a follow through, you, you could pin them as well probably, but right now the Juji Gatami is, is we've been working on tonight. A lot of times in Judo or Sambo, you're not going to get like any pawn for the throw. Even though it could be a very hard throw, a lot of times it'll be a wazari, you know, a four pointer or something. So you want to follow up with it with a good submission technique or pin, but in this case a submission technique. So come up on your left knee again, Eric, so he could see, and he just slide, he just drives right in with a standard uchimata, but notice he's going to be lifting with his right leg against <coughs> really Eric's uh, left inner thigh, really, when he comes into it. And, and I think probably a, a key is when his foot's down, you know you're, if you're thinking of doing this or the Osoto guard, you want him to stand up. And he's going to stand up with one leg at a time. So if, he, if he's just on his knees and I want him to stand up, I'll pull him my weight. And if I want this leg to come up, <clears throat> I'll pull him with my right arm this way. And then he gives me that leg. Right? From here, I'm going to step in and throw, but I'm anticipating that leg coming up. So as soon as I feel it coming up, I'm going to go in. I'm not going to wait for him to stand that foot up and then think, okay, now I'll go. Because now it's probably too late. So I'm going to come this way, here, and as soon as he's here, boom, boom. Okay. I'll show you a drill that will help your uh, spinning style uchimata. And it's unusual when you're just to be, a, be, be on the uh, turn about here. So, which, which and Henry he left me up because he's doing that right now. So. Okay, yeah. Now, here's a great go. Come out of your foot just a little bit. No, 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 no. There you go. Now, look. And this is a drill, and it's a good way. Maybe even if someone needs remedial work in their Uchimata, this is the way. And I'll tell you where I learned it. I need to remedial work in my Uchimata. And my old sensei, Jerry Sweat, did this with me when I was like 12. So uh, it helped me. It can help you. you know, and it's, it's a great way of doing it low impact. As well. yeah. So if your your training partner is getting tired of you throwing him with Uchimata for two hours, let him take a knee. Now, all he's going to do, see how he's leading with his foot inside the foot? See that right foot inside the foot? He's going to spin about and do Uchimata. There you go. It's Uchimata. Okay? That's a great way to teach remedial skills in Uchimata. And like you said, you don't have to take a real hard fall every time. But there you go. So, so it's, it's, it's the same style of Uchimata we just did, isn't it? And we're not we're not trying to lift over the leg. See how it is? He's got a grip here. He's got a grip here. And all he's emphasizing now is that leg. And that's what I want you to emphasize now. Like that. See, it's a quick flipping action. You don't need to lift him with your leg. Right? This teaches you don't lift him with your leg. There you go. All right, let's drill on that. And we'll come back.